a week after the Court of Appeal rejected my request to be allowed to appeal in March 2013. I sent both the assault case and the witness interference case for review by the Criminal Cases Review Commission. Enclosed with the applications was a letter to the Chief Executive of the CCRC, Karen Neller. I told her what had happened at the harassment trial and explained how I had been sent to prison because of a CCRC mistake. I was nice to them and suggested that Nicola had been misled by other agencies. I wanted to give them a way out, but I also made it very clear that the reason I didn't respond to the rejection by Nichols was because he had written that I hadn't provided any evidence that I'd been framed, something that was clearly ridiculous. A couple of weeks later, I received a response. That the Commissioner's decision could have been influenced by an outside agency was denied, and they refused to admit a mistake had been made but they did tell me the case would be treated as a reapplication. After speaking to one of their staff and being told it would probably be dealt with quite quickly, I decided to leave them to get on with it. At that time, I was happy to help protect the reputation of the criminal justice system. I didn't hear from them for a couple of months, so I contacted them to find out what was going on. I was told it would be about a year before the cases were reviewed. I wasn't too impressed with that, so I sent them another email. That seemed to have some effect because the name of the commissioner who had made the mistake disappeared from the list of commissioners. I wasn't too bothered with what they got up to for the next couple of months because I was busy with other campaign related activities, but I kept an eye on how long it was taking. One of the grounds for my application in the witness interference case was that the defence hadn't been done properly and I would have to prove that was true. Everything said in court is recorded by a stenographer, but the problem was that the records were only kept for five years. The trial had taken place in July 2009. We were now into spring 2014. But if the CCRC took too much longer, it could be that the record of any mistakes made in that trial would be destroyed in July 2014. The CCRC should have ordered that the records of the trial be preserved as soon as they received my application. I began to wonder if they'd done this, so I wrote to them to find out. I told them I knew the name of the company that held the records and it was something I could check myself if I needed to. A couple of weeks later, I received their reply. They hadn't ordered that the record be preserved when they received my application, but had done so now. A few weeks later, I got another letter from them. Owing to an increase in applications, the review of my case had been put back from December 2014 to October 2015. That would be two and a half years after I first told them that their mistake had been responsible for my wrongful imprisonment in 2011. So how long should the CCRC take to review a case? Well, the first point to be made is that my case is an easy one. All the evidence is laid out in the tables you've seen, so it's just a matter of checking the references. It wouldn't take more than a couple of hours to do that, and at the time, the CCRC already had all the other records needed from the original application made in 2011. My application could have been dealt with in a few weeks, and bearing in mind they were responsible for my wrongful imprisonment, it should have been. At that time, cases were taking between 6 and 18 months. They weren't taking two and a half years. My problem was that the next general election was due in May 2015, but the CCRC was putting my case review off until after the election. I knew it would be almost impossible for someone who had been to prison twice to run the campaign, so I had to get the convictions overturned as soon as possible. The question is, is that something the CCRC had considered? Were they putting off my case reviews until after the election so they could be rejected? If they did that, the campaign couldn't run and the truth might never come out. Any attempt to cover up would succeed and the reputation of the legal professions would be saved. Let's have a quick recap of what went wrong, of what had to be covered up. I've been through three trials. In the first two, the evidence in the written statements clearly showed I was innocent, yet I was convicted. The police and the CPS had clearly failed to do their jobs properly. 
The solicitor had made a mistake about the time allowed for an automatic appeal, and that led to a judge misleading me about the appeal process. The third case only went to trial because of a mistake made by the Criminal Cases Review Commission, the organisation set up by Parliament to put right miscarriages of justice, and that mistake had led to my wrongful imprisonment. All of this has stopped Campaign for Democracy going ahead, a campaign that would have changed the course of British history. All of it, except a bit about Leveson, was sent to the CCRC, but they would have known the Court of Appeal had rejected my application. Cases can't go to the CCRC unless they've been through the Court of Appeal. If there had been a cover-up, the CCRC would have known that it went to the highest levels in the criminal justice system. All we know for sure is that the CCRC rejected my applications to them, but did they have a choice? To send my cases back to the Court of Appeal would have meant contradicting Leveson and exposing just how badly things can go wrong in the criminal justice system. Knowing what I do now, I realised that was never going to happen, but I had to go through it because now there can be no argument. The British legal system is rotten. There's a lot of good people in it, but there's some rotten apples in that barrel and they need to be removed. So now to the important bit. Where did that leave Campaign for Democracy? That final rejection by the CCRC should have made it impossible to get the campaign off the ground. Some people might have given up, but I kept going. And because of that, new opportunities have come up. Once the preparations for the campaign are ready, those opportunities will be exploited.